nation. One guess, guess who? Who never, never starts an argument? Hmm? Who never shows a bit of temperament? Who's never wrong but always right? Who never dream of starting a fight? Who gets stuck with all the bad luck? No one but Donald Duck. What the hell are you doing there? Look out for that thing. <laughs> you know, strange as it may seem, I used to be in business with that old duffer. It all began many years ago. When I was young and full of the old beeswax, <laughs> I was ever looking for better opportunities. Ah, here's one. Young man. I had a hidden talent. Opportunity was not. <laughs> friendship, we agreed to stick together. That night, he took me to his modest little cottage and fed me, too. Ah. While I tried to repay his kindness in some little way, I had the feeling that Mr. Duck was planning big things for us. And I was right. For the very next day, we were in business. See the one and only. She's lovely. Well, <laughs> they didn't stick around that job long. I'll never forget the day the fleet came in. <laughs> I made quite an impression. <laughs> The boss had an idea that was to be the turning point in our lives. We started with a three-spooler. Soon we were in full production. Time I finished the night in the dragon. <laughs> I was really dragging. I told the boss I needed a vacation in the country, maybe. That man was a genius. He brought the country to me.
So that's the one. Oh, yeah. The thing that brought us together was about to come between us. Well, sir, that was the end of our partnership. And the little missus and I have been happy all these years. Thanks, Frank. I think you get all you want for you. No, no, you don't. Not me. Uh-uh. I'm not going back with... Spike! Get in here! You no good worthless bum! What do you mean loafing them out here all day with your no good friends? I cook and slave all day while you sit in that... Well, what are you waiting for? Come on, let's get going! Okay! Let's go!